Shalini Ramakandran joining us here from the Wall Street Journal to talk about Netflix. So yep. we'll kick off with that. What's the problem? Um, Reed Hastings, of course, head of Netflix, saying no fair to Comcast. Right. Well, so basically, Reed Hastings was calling Comcast out on Facebook because when when a customer watches a video through their Xbox um, onto the, set, the TV set, if you watch over your Comcast Xfinity app, it doesn't count toward your 250 gigabyte data cap. But if you watch your Netflix, your Hulu, HBO Go, any other app, it goes over the public internet and does count toward your data cap. Now, the reason why is because the Xfinity cap, uh, the Xfinity video travels over IP and over a private network. Hmm. And and so th and 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 Reed saying that's not fair because. It's not fair because if you watch, uh, if I want to watch like a, a movie, I, I might decide to watch it over the Xfinity app because it doesn't count toward my data cap rather than watching it on Netflix. And that's why, and so I'm making the choice to go to that different user experience. So we should pull back a bit, right, and explain the basic idea of net neutrality is the idea that internet should be, internet data should be treated equally by no matter who owns the pipe, who's creating the content. There's generally a rough consensus that we should do this. There's a series of laws that sort of enforce the idea. What Reed Hastings is really saying is, Okay. Comcast, you own Pipe, and you also are a, are a uh, owner of certain services hmm. and programming. You're making it more advantageous for your customers to watch your stuff than my stuff or Hulu or someone hmm. else. Hmm. Now, part of this is the revenue that Comcast is getting from its subscribers, too. So to get that sort of unlimited feed, you need to be a subscriber, don't you? Well, you, you need to subscribe. You paid for it in advance. Yeah, you need to subscribe to their cable, video, and broadband service to get that Xbox Xfinity. Hmm. What he's saying is, you, Comcast is going, to pay, is going to supply the data either way. You're paying for it. They're saying yeah. you have a limited. What Comcast is trying to do is say, look, if you're going to start watching video on the internet instead mm. of paying us cable fees to watch it, that's fine. But we're going to extract a fee for that, um, and we're going to make it cheaper for you to watch it on our service than somebody else's. So we're going to make sure that we don't get screwed over if people are actually cord cutting. Now, now I understand the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, has been drawn into this. How have they been drawn in, and what are they likely to do? Well, so what they said is that they're monitoring. The closely and that they're going they're taking very seriously all the allegations of net neutrality and this has been buzzing around the internet for a, you know a few weeks now uh, ever since Comcast released that that app that allows mm. you to watch and this is the second time Reed Hastings has done this on Facebook he right. did it a couple weeks ago basically made the same complaint uh, there was a slight derivation but he's he's been at this now for a couple times he's clearly trying to get public attention which is working yeah and so now the FCC has said that they're monitoring it and when the FCC says they're monitoring monitoring something it's it's not to be taken lightly I think well, it's, it's, it's not to be taken lightly, but in the meantime, he could be losing subscribers. I'm not saying yes, but I mean, if people if people are finding this, this is Peter, almost, this I mean, is it could be really bad. This news. is almost entirely a theoretical issue. There's right. very few people who are actually going to exceed okay. their cap. He's saying, in the future, this could be a, pro be a problem. I'm going to ring the bell now.